Pope Saint Evaristus. Pope Saint Evaristus, also known as Saint Evaristus, was the fifth pope of the Roman Catholic Church, serving from around 98 AD to 106 AD. Evaristus is believed to have been born in Bethlehem, although the exact date of his birth is uncertain. His given name was likely Aristus or Arists, but he became known as Evaristus upon his election as pope. Little is known about his early life or family background. Evaristus succeeded Pope Clement I as the Bishop of Rome, or Pope, during a time when the Christian Church was still in its formative years. His papacy falls within the period of early Christianity when the Church was primarily a community of believers, and its structure and hierarchy were still evolving. During his papacy, Evaristus played a significant role in organizing the Christian community and defining the roles of priests and bishops. He is attributed with establishing parishes in Rome, which would become the foundation for the parish system used in the modern Catholic Church. These parishes were responsible for serving and nurturing the spiritual needs of specific local communities. Evaristus is also credited with appointing the first seven deacons to assist the priests and bishops in their pastoral duties. This early development of the diaconate played a crucial role in the growth of the church and the administration of charitable activities. Evaristus's papacy coincided with a period of relative peace and limited persecution of Christians in the Roman Empire. This allowed the Christian community to grow and flourish, albeit as a relatively small and tightly knit group. Evaristus is also associated with establishing the practice of ordination for priests and bishops, setting formal procedures for their consecration within the church. This contributed to the hierarchical structure of the church that would continue to evolve over the centuries. Pope Saint Evaristus died around the year 106 AD, and he was buried in the catacomb of Calixtus in Rome. His feast day is celebrated on October 26 in the Roman Catholic Church's liturgical calendar. Evaristus's legacy endures through his role in early Christian organization, the establishment of parishes, the ordination of priests and bishops, and his contribution to the Church's growth during a time when it faced both challenges and opportunities. While much of his life remains veiled in historical obscurity, his influence on the development of the Catholic Church is remembered and celebrated by believers to this day.